like that music. <laughs> you know what? I think that is the attitude we should have in 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Let's rock this stage. about time we rock some liberty back into California. Yeah. Right on! Right on! You know, I've been on a, a bus tour. We're trying to hit 40 cities in 10 days. Oh. And we just keep getting stuck on the side of the road taking pictures. California is so beautiful. <laughs> it's really amazing. We live in an amazing state, don't we? Yeah. Yes! Well, I want to thank you guys for turning out today. And for coming out here in the rain. We need the rain! Thank you! You know, Jerry Brown may have turned the water off, but God turned it back on. Woo! <laughs> you know, it's exciting to see so many people across this state. Sometimes it feels like a country, except we have more counties. 58 counties instead of the 57 states. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> oh, little Baba joke. But you know, uh, there's just something about 2014. There's something in the air. And I think there's a whole lot of people that are sick and tired of having a government that wants to control us instead of a government that controls itself. Yeah. Right, right. You know, we've got a governor who says there's a surplus, and I said, great. If there's a surplus, give it back to the people you took it from. That's right. Seventy-two percent of Americans have figured out that it ain't big labor, or big business is the greatest threat to their future is big government. You know, when you watch what they've done to the rural areas, they're trying to make us dependent on government with all these policies. The government was never meant to have more control over our private property than we do. Correct. You know, they think the drought's over just because it started raining. <laughs> and now they can ignore us again. But I guess uh, somebody's coming into town. We were in Fresno. Was that yesterday, actually? Yeah, yes. yeah. I was there. <laughs> that was yesterday. Right. We were in Fresno, and I guess there's a guy coming into town from Washington, D.C. Boo! <laughs> 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 no, I think I don't think he's going to make it rain. I think he's going to take the rain I away. I think he's coming to pick your pocket. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we need a statewide water plan. We need one that respects every region of this state. We need to be building and increasing our dam capacity. Correct. Right, right, right. And when President Obama shows up, we need to tell him, go home. <laughs> I love this crowd. <laughs> we need to tell him, keep your damn hands off our dams. Right! Right! And we need to tell him to tell Jerry Brown, turn on the water. Turn, turn on, on the on water. The pumps. Turn on the pumps. You know, they, they like to blame this little bait fish for it. It's not the bait fish's no, fault. It's, not. <laughs> it's their fault. Right on. Because they want to use these environmental policies to control the people, even though we're the people that have more respect for the environment than anybody else. But they're depriving us of our fundamental right to make a living. The government was meant to secure and protect your inalienable rights. That's life, liberty. liberty. And, and the, the pursuit, pursuit of, of happiness, happiness. Right. instead of infringing. So, we need to take a stand against the EPA coming here telling us to tear down our dams. And we need to turn those pumps back on. And we need to get a peripheral canal so that, that water that comes down doesn't get wasted and just run out 600 to 800,000 acre feet running out into the ocean for no purpose whatsoever. 
And then we need Southern California to get serious about not only conservation, but they got to start investing in some water infrastructure like desalinization. Because we're all in this together. But the one thing that we got to remember is we can live without a necktie, at least most of us can. Some of us can live without cowboy hats, I can't. Be frank. Let's hear it for Frank Bigelow. Yeah. We can live without a wristwatch nowadays. Some of us can live without an iPhone for two or three hours at a time. <laughs> my kids can't, my young staff can't, but we can't live without food, we can't live without water. And agriculture is the number one industry in the state of California. And we need to protect that. And we need to protect and secure our rights as Americans and as Californians. And we need to stop this encroachment. And we need to push back. And I believe in 2014, we can unify a divided majority that are Californians. Because, you know, it really doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent when the government is interfering in your life. And when the government has more control over your private property and your business than you do, that's just un-American. And I think we need to unite people on American values, yes. hard work, personal responsibility, and freedom. And you know what? That means telling the government to butt out. Right! Yeah. Woo! Yeah! I think we need to get back to using that phrase, don't you? None your damn business. Yeah. And you know, I hear a lot of talk nowadays about the Tea Party. How many of you uh, saw that video of me with Maria Cucina Alonso? Well, we we sent out a little video and it went viral. We got about 115,000 views in the first three days. And I was having dinner with her later, and she said, "I didn't know you were part of the Tea Party." <laughs> Now, she knew I was a minute man, and that was okay, but she, the tea party. <laughs> so I asked her a couple questions. I said, do you, do you think the government should have more control or less control over your life? She said, less. I said, well, do you think they should confiscate more of your earnings? She said, no. I, I said, well, do you think the government, would you agree that the government's the greatest threat to your future? She said, yeah. I said, welcome to the tea party. <laughs> <laughs> The Tea Party isn't a party. They don't get it. It's an attitude. Yeah. And it's an American attitude. And you know what? I think it is that attitude that we are going to unite Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Libertarians as Americans. And that's how we're going to win in 2014. We're going to drive Brown out and usher freedom in. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Woo! God bless you and Godspeed.